This is the Cobra Stun. It was made in 1986, and you could still get it in 87, but it was discontinued in 88. There was a re-release of it in 1989, a part of, for Python Patrol, and there was no other releases after, even in the modern line. The Stun is a very stunning vehicle. I was very stunned when I got mine. The stun did come with a driver, and luckily I do have this driver, but not his file card, so please, take a second to admire this vehicle driver. His name is the Motor Viper. Now, let's look at the parts for the stun. The stun has a lot of parts, but nothing like smaller vehicles or missiles or anything. The most closest thing I could probably think of is the engine covers. There is two of them, and they look like this. There are hollow in the inside. As you can see, the engine covers go in right here. They kind of just snap in. like that. Easily broken parts or missing parts on the stun is the flags. So they get bent or whatever. Is that gun right there? And surprisingly is the hubcap. Sometimes the hubcap will break and you have to super glue it back on. I had to do this on this stun and my python stun. It sucks when it happens. The guns can pivot up and down like this. As we can see, these two sections, they can come open and shoot on the side. And there's a commanding chair, and then there is a gas pump where on the chair room you can plug in, you know, gas. Okay, this is why it's not a great idea to put any figures on those figure pegs, because they will instantly fall. Here's the other flaw about the co Cobra Stun. It is super fast, but... It is lightly armored, so that meaning it doesn't take that much to take it down. Unlike the Hiss tank, where you're going to have some resistance. The other flaw on the stun is this little chair right here. If you try to drive off the stun, the figure falls off. But for the most part, the stun is a great vehicle, and I definitely recommend you getting one. Anyway, make sure you like and subscribe. Bye.